so sweet and I can't deny it Life's a treat, I just wanna try it This is the good life Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing our patio makeover. I had actually asked you guys on my previous video and then I also did a poll on the community tab and the patio makeover won, which I'm honestly pretty relieved about just because we have been hanging out on our lawn chairs and we did finally find some patio furniture. If you saw the vlog on our vlogging channel, we were kind of in the search of patio furniture recently and we ended up finding some. So now that we have everything and everything has arrived, I'm so excited just to make over the space and make it a place that we can just enjoy being out here. Of course, we have been enjoying the pool. We are really excited just to have like this covered patio space all made over. And I can't wait to take you guys along with us on the process. So before we do anything, we're going to clear everything out. And then also I want to power wash the stone down here or the flooring. And then once we get that done, we can start bringing out the new pieces, assembling them and getting everything looking nice and put together and just make this a great space to hang out this summer. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. I wanna hear you say it. So as you saw in that before, we really did not have much out here. We only had our rug out here just because when we were moving in, we didn't have anywhere else to put it. And so we brought it out to the back patio just because we knew we were going to be putting it out here. And then we ended up using all of like our lawn chairs and things like that just to kind of sit on while we found the patio furniture that we had been looking for and that was honestly a whole process in itself like i had mentioned we did vlog a bit when we were searching for patio furniture but we ended up finding some online most of it came from amazon and then i did get some stuff from target as well and then most of the decor that i end up using is actually something that we already had or things that i found at either home goods or walmart but just like I do with all of my makeover videos, I will try to link as much as I can down below. And then anything that you have questions about, you can always ask in the comments. And I always try to answer those, letting you know where I found something. But I'm just so excited to be tackling our patio today. And I know that this space is going to be used all the time, whether it's just our family or whether my sisters come up. Either way, this patio is going to be very, very used. So I'm really, really excited to finally be tackling it and also be sharing it with you guys. I do have a ton of projects to tackle inside of of our house but before it gets like 115 degrees this summer here in Arizona I wanted to go ahead and tackle this one and I was super happy to hear that you guys wanted to see this makeover first so I hope you guys enjoy So as you can see, the stained concrete did need a really good cleaning. So we started off just by spraying off the rug with the power washer, just with water. And then we did the same thing on the floors. Kyle just sprayed it off first with water. And then once he had it all wet, he went ahead and added his soap cannon and then sprayed it all down with soap so he could go ahead and start scrubbing it and getting it looking nice and clean. Oh, 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 
can't deny it Life's a treat, I just wanna try it This is the good life Come alive. Oh, this is the good life. Oh, so give me good vibes. We're living our dreams. We're living our dreams. All right, so we have everything nice and cleaned off. And it is dry. You can still see like where there's some hard water stains or just some wear from time. This is a stained concrete, so it does naturally kind of have like this variation in it. And I actually really love it. And I think having like the rug and the furniture will kind of cover up like some more problem areas. Like here, I think you tell us that these are hard water stains, maybe like where there's a little dip in the concrete and that's kind of where the water is settled. But now that we have like our base nice and clean, we are going to start bringing out the patio furniture. And I ended up getting a set, it comes with like a regular couch, a love seat and two chairs and a table but we did get a fire pit and for mother's day i got an egg chair after years and years and years of wanting one and so we are going to kind of break up this set and part of that set is going to go upstairs to the upstairs balcony so that will probably be shared over on the vlog channel i'll link the vlog channel down below as always so anyway enough talking let's get into bringing all the patio furniture out and starting to get things kind of set up out here So with the patio furniture, you'll notice that we actually have three different styles. And the reason that I went this route is because lots of times having furniture that goes together but isn't an exact set makes your space look much more high end. Now this isn't always the case, but a lot of times that's how it goes. Now I know this isn't always doable because a lot of times it is cheaper to find something in a set, but because we did have the back door patio space and we also have the upstairs balcony, we ended up having two outdoor areas that I needed to furnish and because of that we were able to kind of break up the set and part of the set is going down here in this patio area and then the other set we are going to end up vlogging and we'll use the rest of that upstairs in the balcony and I'm really happy that we were able to do this because it ended up giving our patio a custom look while still staying on a budget.
So next up, we are tackling my egg chair. I have been so in love with egg chairs for several years. I have wanted one for so long, and every time I see one on Instagram or scrolling through Pinterest, I just swoon over them. They are just so gorgeous to me, and they look so comfy, and every time I sit in one at Target or wherever I see them, they just are so comfortable to lounge in or just hang out. And I am so beyond excited to finally have one for myself. So this one I had gotten on Amazon. It was a little bit cheaper than the ones that they have at Target. And I also loved this one because it actually has black cushions and because it's going to be shaded, I feel like it will hold up a little bit better. I don't think it's going to get sun bleached so much. And I just really love the contrast between the tan wicker and the black cushions. But you will have to let me know what is your dream patio piece or even just what does your dream patio space look like let me know in your perfect patio do you have a big sectional do you have an egg chair do you have a hanging swing i just would love to hear kind of what your style is and what your dream patio would be So another thing that I always like to mention when I share these makeover videos is to always just kind of roll with the punches. There are always going to be changes that need to be made or adjustments that you need to do. There's always going to be hiccups and sometimes things are going to turn out totally different than how you had envisioned them. Like just a small change that I ended up making in this space was I was actually not planning to use these two swivel chairs in the main area of this patio. I was planning to set them off to the left as their own little area, but once we had them put together I knew they were going to be the perfect addition to the space and they were just going to kind of tie in the egg chair and just make it all look very cohesive and then when I moved the other chairs over to the other side they just did not look good there they looked very out of place so we are going to end up moving those to the upstairs balcony area and I'm kind of kicking myself because I wish I would have realized this earlier because then I wouldn't have had to buy such a large patio set. But I know in the end it'll end up working out great and we'll have extra seating upstairs than we were anticipating. And so I actually think that'll end up being good. But that is always the piece of advice that I would give you is whenever you are doing these makeovers, like I said, roll with the punches. They are not always going to turn out how you envision them, but a lot of times they can end up turning out even better. So things are coming together very nicely. We have our fire pit in place, but I totally thought that the propane tank would fit inside of it. And it says that you have to have it outside of it. And then it even has like this little mount back down here with the propane coming out of it. And so we kind of tried to figure out different ways to keep it inside, but I feel like it's just gonna be a big thing. Plus it has rocks. It'll have like little rocks or stones in there and so it would just be a process to have to like move it every time we need to change that out so we figured we're going to actually just cut like a small hole in the middle of the carpet underneath the fire pit because whether we change this up or not we're always going to have either a table or a coffee table or a fire pit or something like right in the middle of the rug anyway 
And so we're gonna cut a hole and then we're basically going to feed the propane tank cord underneath the carpet back to behind the sofa, like up against this post. And I'll either put it in like a basket or some kind of like nice propane tank holder in the future. And I think that'll end up just being really practical and then it will also be functional. So that's the plan and that way, like you'll never see this cord or anything. It'll just be kind of hidden and tucked beneath the carpet. So Kyle is looking for a box cutter or a knife or something like that that we're gonna end up cutting the carpet with. That's what's up next. But so far, I'm loving how everything is turning out. It's just, it's, I just, I love it. <laughs> Is that cool? That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, that is pretty cool. All right, so we finally have all of the furniture built and put in place. That is the table that I found at Home Goods recently when I was vlogging, if you saw that on the most recent vlog. But anyway, so that's gonna be like the console table, but now it is time to start decorating the space and kind of make it all come together. So I'm actually just gonna turn you around and kind of show you what I have. Some of the things are things that I've recently picked up and then a lot of things are things that we just had around the house that I've used in a different space and I'm kind of repurposing out here today. Okay, so that thing right there is just like one of those little wind chime things. I got that recently. And then I found these black pillows from Costco along with this rolled up runner rug. And then I had gotten these pillows from Walmart online recently. This bowl I believe was from Hobby Lobby, so I think I'm gonna put that on the console table to hold like the remotes, but that was something that I had already had. Of course, I had a lot of pillow inserts, and those are some outdoor pillow covers. These are the plants that I got, so I'm not 100% sure if they're gonna do great outside or not, but we'll try it, and then if not, I can always bring them inside. And I do have a little palm and lots of aloe vera. That I really want to grow just like a ton of in a pot and then these are some pots that I already had on our back porch in Utah and so I'm just going to be repurposing them or not repurposing them but just reusing them out here super cute I have this little sunshade you guys have probably seen this in our living room in Utah but I think I'm gonna try to see if I can put that up on that wall just to kind of bringing a little bit more of the boho vibe and just make it extra like outdoorsy out here and kind of fun. Here I got these rugs. We actually have an identical one on the inside and we love it. It's waterproof and it's just from Costco. So I got one for this door and then also to put outside of our bedroom door. So anyway, that's everything. So let's go ahead and finish the patio. So whenever I'm starting a makeover, I always like to kind of come up with a plan as what the function of the space is going to be, what my needs are going to be to create that function. And then I also try to figure out what kind of design or style I want to make it aesthetically pleasing and how I can make it kind of come together as a whole. So in this space, my ultimate goal was to maximize the seating. I really wanted to make sure there was tons of room and space for everyone to sit. So that's why we ended up having this three-seater couch, also the two chairs, 
and a large egg chair as well. And as for creating the style of the space, I also wanted to have very minimal decor and make that decor be very practical. So that again, I kind of tackled by adding in lots of throw pillows with lots of texture and different colors and things like that. One thing that I always love to add into almost any space is plants, whether they are live or faux plants. I feel like it adds such a great texture and such great life into a space. And so of course the patio is no different. We added in lots of different plants that I had got from Walmart recently. And while I was doing this, Noah had come out and just wanted to help me. So I included him in the process and it was just so sweet. I feel like a lot of times we like second guess ourselves and feel like we don't really know what we're doing. So we can't go ahead and do that with our kids. I do not know everything about plants. I don't even know a lot about plants, I would say, but I still go ahead and do it. And especially when it comes to the kids, I feel like it's better to just kind of experiment and do things with them as opposed to just not doing things because you feel like you don't know enough about it. So anytime that you can have those experiences with your kids and kind of include them in the process, I feel like it's always, always going to be a good choice. And another thing that really adds a lot to patio spaces is to layer in your lighting. Now, honestly, I would have loved to have some string lights in here, but because of the fans, I didn't really go that route. And we did have some string lights throughout the yard, but I did add in a few solar lamps at different heights. And then of course we have the big fire pit, which is kind of like one of the main features of the space. guys it is the next day and we are about to finish up getting this patio all situated there also is just a few things that i want to add into like the pool deck area but we are so so close and i'm honestly just loving how everything is coming together i did actually run to home goods last night because there was one like decor piece that i really really wanted i loved it but someone else had it in their cart and so I walked out of the store obviously and then I just happened to do like go check earlier and just see if they had another one or if it was returned or anything and if they happened to just have it sitting there I could not believe <laughs> that luck and so instead of doing like that circle mirror thing I'm actually going to put this other piece up there and then also like some solar lantern lights just because I did want to layer a lot of lighting in here anyway we have a few other things to add to the patio and I'm just so excited to get it all put together and finished up today so let's go ahead and jump on into it. The things that I picked up are these two throw pillows. I love just like the leafy look on them and then I also grabbed these lanterns. They were about ten dollars and they are solar but they also have these little fairy lights in them so I thought this would be perfect just to kind of style in the space and they also turn on automatically. Then I also got this little trash can for a couple dollars and I thought that would be great just like if we have little things we can kind of take it in if we use it during the day. And then this is the picture that I found. I just loved it. It has kind of like wood detailing in here and then the white leaves. I just think it's so perfect for a patio space. It's actually really heavy, so I'm gonna have to see how Kyle plans on hanging this up. But I just love this piece, and I think it's gonna complement everything we have going on really, really well. hiding under the pillows. I wonder if that's a Palo Verde beetle, but oh my gosh, it's huge. 
All right, so we got my favorite picture <laughs> or art piece or whatever you want to call it up on the wall. I love it. I do feel like we need more. And actually, I was hoping to find like a coat rack or like a towel rack or something. I even looked on Amazon. I think I might end up ordering one from there. It just, it didn't happen in time. But I do want to put something up so that we can hang our towels or like the boys' swimsuits or something like that to dry off out here. And I do feel like this wall is kind of missing something. It's just a small piece. So if you guys have some ideas on what to put around here, then let me know whether it's a link or whether it's just like an idea that you might have in your head. Let me know because I just feel like there's, it's missing something. But I love this patio so much. It's just so cozy and so like inviting and I love like the plants and all the pillows, all the different seating area options. I just, I love it all and I hope you guys do too. So I'm gonna turn you around and show you the final reveal. So that is everything for our backyard patio makeover. I love how everything turned out at night. It honestly is just my favorite, especially with a fire lit. It's so cozy and warm and inviting, but even during the day, it's just awesome. We have been finding ourselves sitting out here during the day, even though it's like 105 degrees or 110 degrees. But I hope this did give you some ideas for your own home and helping to create that outdoor space that you can really enjoy. And I hope you'll stay tuned as we go through our entire home and just transform it and make it just how we want it. There are so many different projects that we have planned and we cannot wait to tackle them all, even though it will be taking quite a while to just get through everything. But I know once we're done, it's going to be incredible and I'm so excited to take you on this journey with me. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already, so you can go ahead and get notified anytime I upload a new video. I hope you're having the most amazing day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Oh,